part two. Okay, you guys, and I know it sounds crazy that it would scare me that someone would be so happy. But y'all gotta understand, this, it was completely out of character for this lady. Like, she was so reserved. She was one of those that, you know, yes ma'am, no ma'am, 1950, you know, followed all the rules, never did nothing wrong, reserved. You know what I'm saying, bro? And she was on the floor rolling belly laughing like Santa Claus for hours. Like tears coming out of her eyes. It was a crazy, one of the craziest things I've ever seen, but it was awesome at the same exact time. And it actually scared me, but just because it was something I'd never experienced, okay? All right. Now, we're moving on to... What are we at spiritually? The Empress. All right. Now remember, to have achieved all three of these and be born this way, um, you can be born with these as a seed inside of you and grow into them. Grow your crown, get your wings, get your robe and crown for your high priestess, right? And you are more than likely chosen, okay, if that's the case. But truthfully, these are attain attainable individually through deep spiritual inner work. Not all together, not combined, okay? Because if you're doing that, your walk is sacred and you are most assuredly chosen. But separately, they are attainable individually. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. Anyways, empress, okay? Spiritual. Spiritually, an empress, okay? Number one. Your emotions do not rule you, okay? You rule them. The fruit of self-control is alive and well in your life and ripe for the picking. So someone can come up to you and they can spout all manner of evil, evil against you. Two, 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 um, on the clock. Your angels are with you, darling. Uh, Y'all hear Elena? But they can come up and scream in your face and you do not react. No emotion. Your emotions are completely under control. You only react when God tells you to. Okay? That is the number one sign that you are an empress in the spirit realm. Okay? Number two, you do not fear judgment from the world. In other words, people can think whatever the hell they want to think about you. Because you don't fear human beings. All right? God alone is the only judgment you hold in reverence. Okay? People and opinions of theirs matter not. The only opinion that matters is that of the Most High. Period. Okay? Number three, you do not destroy your peace due to overthinking and fear. A true empress will not destroy their peace, their inner peace, their communion with the Most High will not be destroyed by overthinking and fear. In other words, the moment they are besieged with overthinking or fear. They see what it is in the spirit realm, 414 on the clock, and they set it down and bench it, you see. Y'all hear you, Elena? <laughs> so they do not and are not overcome by overthinking or fear. They overcome it. They remain calm and basically stay in their peace, right? Number four, the rat will of comparison does not exist. You are in a league all your own and cherished. So if y'all want to write that down, 
it's very important to understand that that was deep, what I just said. So you do not ever look at someone and compare yourself to them. And I can tell you right now that 99.9% .9 of the population does that every single day. But a true empress or emperor in the spirit realm looks at no one and compares themselves to no one because they know who the hell they are. They're in a league all their own and they cherish themselves. And they are cherished by the upper realms and the angels, darling. You understand? Y'all hear Yelena? Okay, so um, I just wanna put a bonus on number one where I said your emotions do not rule you, you rule them. Okay, so especially the emotion of anger. Okay, so you do not react to people, places, and things as a child would. All right? And that's why I say you can grow into this spiritually. Because when I was younger, I used to fight at the drop of the hat. And I dropped the mother hat. Now, you can almost literally spit in my face and I don't react. Because I know God's coming for you, honey. And it's going to be bad. Okay? I've learned to let God fight my battles. But it's something I grew into. Spiritually. You understand? I leveled up. Okay. So, number five. You consciously choose to walk in beauty every moment of every second of every day. This is a Native American saying, walk in beauty, walk in beauty in the north, walk in beauty in the east, walk in beauty in the south, walk in beauty in the west. When you enter into the medicine wheel, you walk in beauty in all the cardinal directions. And what that basically means for a man is that you walk in peace, right? You're not, you speak life. You don't speak death. You are a leader of leaders. You lead by your calm confidence and resilience to life. And you show people and men, other men, the way to be. By your character and integrity, right? By your ability to keep your emotions under control. Same thing with a woman. Walk in beauty, right? You walk in beauty. Simple as that. A true empress will be a master at this or emperor, okay? Number six, you lead by example, which means everything you talk about, you be about. You understand what I'm saying to you? Take notes on that one. And again, this is just skimming the surface. I'll go over more at a later date. If you guys would love to hear more about this, you'll let me know in the comments. Um, but that's the bottom line. Like, these are just the surface, skimming the surface. If you have reached these levels, you are an empress in the spirit realm or an emperor, okay? Um, number seven, you don't argue with stupid. Things that are not important are not important. You might want to write that down. And you remain on your frequency in your power. I want y'all to marinate on number seven. All right. So let me give you another experience that I had. Um after a spiritual awakening of mine. I was living with my aunt and uncle, and um, my uncle, you know, he was a drunk. And he did lots of things, like punched me so hard in the back that it broke my bed because I was crying in my room and I wouldn't stop. Because my mother had just wrote me off to the state of Texas. And my stepfather had just gone to prison for, you know, sexually molesting me and I had been R.E.P.E.D. for two years straight so I was in my room crying about it I was sad and he comes in and decides to punch me in the back and breaks my bed right all right well that night I climbed out my window and I sat on it was in the middle of Fort Worth and I sat on the curb we had a cop as a neighbor 
And I remember wanting to like run away or go tell the cop what my uncle did, but I knew he wouldn't believe me because him and the cop were friends, you know. And I just remember feeling so alone, like I had a huge shotgun hole in my chest and it was just bleeding, it was gaping, it was a wound. You could see straight through me, you know, you could see that sign that says family behind me on the wall. Right, and it was just, oh, the pain. The pain was unsurmountable what I was going through at that point. And I remember just starting to sing. Jesus loves me, this I know. And looking up at the sky. Cause the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me when I'm good. Jesus loves me. You know, and I was just bawling, like tears coming out my eyes, all by myself, rocking myself back and forth. Okay, and I, I kid you not, outside my peripheral, I literally saw spirit beings. If you guys have watched the end of the spear, I don't want to ruin it, but you do see angels in that movie, and it is a true story. Okay? Those same beings that you see in that movie were dancing around me. 11.44 on the clock. 1.44. I'm calling you. They were literally like spinning and dancing to what I was singing around me. Jesus loves me when I'm bad. Though it makes him very sad. Two, two, two on the clock. Yes, Jesus loves me. You know, but it was more sad, and I was just like rocking back and forth and bawling. But by the time I had finished my song, they had like evaporated. It was crazy. It was like they just went up into the sky, and this peace just fell on me and I decided not to run away. I climbed back in my uncle's house in my bedroom and went to sleep. Okay guys, I'll be back with part three in a sec, God willing. <laughs>